The AH-1 Cobra is a two-blade rotor, single-engine attack helicopter manufactured by Bell Helicopter. It developed using the engine, transmission and rotor system of the Bell UH-1 Iroquois. The AH-1 is also referred to as the Snake. The AH-1 was the backbone of the US Army's attack helicopter fleet, but has been replaced by the AH-64 Apache in Army service. At present Pakistan Army Aviation cooperates near about 40 Cobras. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is an American twin turboshaft attack helicopter with a tailwheel type landing gear arrangement and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. It features an OS mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems. The US Army is the primary operator of the AH-64. India has ordered 22 Apaches for its Air Force and 6 for Army Aviation Corps. First batch of 8 helicopters were received by India in 2019. But which are the differences between Cobra and Apache attack helicopters? And which one is better? Joe DeFrancesco, a former USA H-64 Apache pilot told, while I have only flown AH-64, I have extensive experience with the H-1 from joint operations. Both systems may engage the same target, but both come at it from a different series of requirements. In upgrade speed, the AH-1 also wins. The flash to bank time for AH-1 upgrades is much shorter than the 64 with respect to the magnitude of the upgrades. From a purpose-built design standpoint, the AH-64 is the best of the two, he continued. While upgrades to an existing aircraft may be made to increase functionality, it is difficult to accomplish some requirements without creating a brand new aircraft. The AH-64 had a fly-by-wire system, heads-up display, thermal sensors and advanced weapon process from inception. Having that foundation allows these buggy systems to be thoroughly troubleshot and the bugs run out over several decades. Additionally, having an internal aircraft network bus from the beginning the communications protocols are well known and easy to design new avionics for. De Francesco concludes, as a pilot, I would choose the AH-64 over the AH-1 for one tiny reason, wheels versus skids. Skid aircraft have to hover around airports, while wheeled aircraft can just taxi. For emergencies, the ability to land like airplane with wheels is awesome. Also, wheeled helicopters play much nicer in crowded airfields, especially with lightweight aircraft with respect to rotor wash. Thank you everyone for watching this video.